Oh yeah now, my people, my people, it's your guy, the Nigerian Englishman, and we are back here on One Touch TV for today, Nigeria versus Guinea Bissau Match Day Vlog. Let's go! Yeah, now lineups are in. A lot of changes. I'm looking for a big game from Wakali. Wow. Uh, who knows? Or whether he gets some minutes, might do something. I'm predicting a 3 1 result for the Super Eagles. Very, very slow start to the game. Very slow start. I thought you were talking to yourself. <laughs> well, I am basically. It's a soliloquy. <laughs> now, slow start to the game. Nothing really going on. That was always going to be the case, though, because of the, um, the changes. Yeah, the changes have definitely made a massive mm -hmm. difference. We need more. We need to step up. Wakali needs to take control of the game. It's his chance. Two, I've had enough. This is the guy is having a joke. He had two chances. Though, but He's had two chances. One, he tried to pass it to his, his teammate. Second chance, he took oh, too long with it. No, no goal. Every Bro, time he's not, come on in this strong. competition, I've not been impressed. Is a strong he's yet to impress me. And Maria Cop. No, no. Ah. One yeah. nil. Man ah. like Sadiq. Who oh, are shouting at him all game. Yes, Look at great outside. work from Kalechi. Assist by Kalechi. Finished. He looks outside. Put it on a plate for Sadiq. Nearly missed. Now he's on. Man, he's on. Moses come on. Uh, 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 One nil Super yeah, Eagles. Done though, done though, done though, done though, done though. VAR, great movement for Moses Sack. VAR's having a look now. Is it 2-0 or 1-0? VAR. Moses. 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 This guy's a last time boy as well. Come on, look, look at the chop. Chop. Whoops! Again, again. Dribble again. Whoops! Two more! He's got to give that. You've got to give that, ref. Go ball. We don't see him already. In suspense here. Okay, the guy, the guy said, ah, look at that, look at that, Oreo. Is he going to give it? <laughs> look at yes. that, Oreo. How long is it taking? What is it? Come on. It's not that close. It's close. I saw the guy's leg. What is this guy tussles? Oh! Two, zero. Sure, so I told you two zero. Yeah, you did, you did. This guy, I'm going to start doing score predictions. Last <laughs> match, I got to, this one. I'm going to get to give Moses light point. work, super eagles thing. Light work, two nil. Go! Giddy Bissau went close there. <laughs> Not seen. <laughs> one for the cameras. Did he touch the ball? He did, did now. That Great one save. Got a good shot. Great save. He tried to catch it too. He said, Mommy, did you see that one? Touch you barely. Well done. 80 minutes gone, 2 0 up. Yeah. Moses Simon. Oh, should have gone down. down. Yeah, he definitely should have gone down. down. <laughs> Moses Simon. Ah. 15 minutes of madness. Chops, chops. He's a full ah. time. He should have gone down there. So many times twice. Minutes. Yeah, he chopped two he players in the box. On feet. And stayed on his feet when he should have gone down. Ah. Moses Simon, player of the tournament. I give in. Of course it is. I give in. I take it all back, Moses. Nigerian Englishman. Routine 2 0 victory to Nigeria. Through to the last 16. At the end of the day, listen, we got the job done. There were a lot of changes, um, you know, rung by the manager, but we got the job done. And, you know, unbelievable cameo by Moses Simon. And I have to give a special recommend. I mean, announcement out to Moses Simon because I was dissing him. I was talking about he doesn't have end product, and he didn't really in the first game. It was like maybe he's watched Tunnel TV and One Touch TV to see our reviews, and he fixed his game. And from the second game, 
he changed the game. And today, the game was done. We weren't even involved in the game. Even though we were one nil up, we, nothing was really happening. He came on, changed the game, created plenty chances. They couldn't hack him on that left side. I think Egwavon's genius move was from moving him from the right to the left because it seems to be causing all these defenders problems because mm. maybe he's more unpredictable on that left flank than he was on the right who knows let's talk about Sadiq we were having a go at him um, and, and, and he pops up with a goal um, and we thought you know you know that'll be a stepping stone to, you know, for better performance during the game but he, he got taken off straight after the goal what, what are your thoughts on that um, to be honest he did get the goal but there was a reason why we were abusing him because he was, let's be honest, he was very wasteful in the first half. His first touch, his decision making, all everything was going wrong for him. And in the games he's played prior to this, he's kind of done the same thing for me. But we needed to keep it fresh. And at the end of the day, he got a goal. And if you look at the competition, we've had a number of different scorers which can only be a positive for the, for the squad going forward, I think. So, yeah. But in, t in terms of like, you know, you know, his confidence. Um, I, I thought it was a bit harsh to bring him off straight away. You could have given him another 10 minutes, no? Um, to be honest, I believe he was planning to take him off before the goal was scored. But you know that one, you have to wait for it to, the balls to stop running or yeah. to, uh, 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 a throw-in to be conceded. Mm. But fortunately, he got a chance and he took it. But he should still be confident. He's got his first goal in the African Nations. He played, what, 65 minutes or so. Yeah, so. Yeah. Another few minutes under his belt, so it was a good performance. It wasn't a good performance, but a good goal. Yeah. How far can this team go? To be honest, the favourites haven't really impressed me in the tournament so far. And we played well. Three games, three wins, only one goal conceded. Like We've done everything asked of us. We look the most dangerous in the tournament so far. But just like Kenebi was saying earlier, we haven't really played anyone of real quality. We played against an Egyptian Salah. But it's only really Salah that we had to worry about. We have teams that are well run as a as a team that we can play, like maybe Cameroon, uh, Tunisia were looking decent in their last game, and obviously Ivory Coast have a great squad. But we can go all the way. You never know. Cheers, bro.